Well, Mark, welcome to Edgley Park. Tell us, first of all, how the moves come about. I, I know Mark Simpson, the press officer up there, uh, quite well, and he was telling me a few weeks ago this was on the cards. Yeah, well, um, I had a few interests in the summer, but obviously as soon as I found out Stockport, county were interested, but it was sort of a no-brainer. I spoke to the manager and Simon, and the ambition of the club, it really wants to go places, and that's obviously obviously something I want to be involved in. Obviously, I think, I think I'm a good age and everything like that to really help this club over, not just three years I signed, maybe five, six, seven, eight, so I know I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to get going. Obviously you know the club well, um, what was it about Mark Stott's ambition and vision though that's excited you? Um, well you can just look at the players we've got in the changing room, like some of the lads we've signed and, and I think we've got a really, a really very good National League team and I think I want to be playing, well especially at my age now, in a team that's going to be winning things and I think mm. the manager here wants to wants to win the league, wants to really push on and get into League Two, so I think the ambition is one of the main things that I wanted to join for and obviously hopefully get promoted with them. I know my contacts up in the North East telling me they're disappointed to see you leave Hartlepool, you've been virtually ever present in that side for the last couple of years. Tell us though for county fans who don't know, what is your preferred position, left back, left midfield, you're quite a yeah. versatile player in that sense. No, well. I was at Rochdale for two seasons and I played a lot of games in midfield then mm. and then when I went back up north to go home to Hartlepool I played a lot of games at wing back and I really enjoyed it because it gives me the chance to get forward and I think I'm good at defending I can get in the back post and get crosses in the box so it mm. sort of gives me a lot of variability so I can get forward, get back and I think that's really really suited my game with my energy levels and I think I can create chances and hopefully obviously excite the fans and so yeah I'd probably say, I'd probably say left wing back or left back is my two, two favourite positions. Well, the manager I know likes to vary his formation, so I'm sure that'll be music to his ears. Yeah. But in terms of the training, how's it been since you arrived at Edgley Park? How much have you been able to do? Yeah, well, no, it's been very enjoyable. I think the sessions that Gaff has put on and all the staff have been really hard. Well, not that hard, but <laughs> hard, do you know what I mean? Just to, just to get you going and that. Yeah. But no, it's been really enjoyable to obviously meet all the lads, meet the manager, meet all the staff, and just can't wait to get going, to be fair. And how difficult is it, Mark, when you, you don't really know when you're getting going again, do yeah, you? Yeah, no, exactly. It is tricky, to be fair, mentally, but you sort of have to just try your best in training and then hopefully, as someone from up above or whatever the government tells us, we can start <laughs> start then and obviously you can just set your date out, but you've got to get as fit as possible to prepare for maybe a September date, October date. So, mm. so yeah, that's what we're doing, putting everything in training now so we're ready for when we do know the season's going to start, we can get off to a real good flyer. Well, obviously Hartlepool, a terrific football club, coming here and playing in front of these, these passionate fans here yeah. at Edgley Park, that must be something you can't wait for. No, definitely. I remember playing against when we played Stockport in the league this season and you just beat us 2-1. <laughs> when you're walking out the tunnel, like there's not many teams in the National League that, like when you look over to the main stand and you see the drum and how big it is and like it's, it's quite like, it's got a big presence to it. So I think if we can get a good a good runner wins at here especially yeah. and get these fans right behind us. The players should be rocking week in, week out and if we're getting good results to make them happy then they'll keep coming back and that's what we want. We want this place bouncing every week so obviously if we're playing well we're making them happy and obviously we're happy getting up the league so we need that good combination between fans and players and results and that's what we're looking for. And just finally, sorry Mark, it's, it's quite clear from your own personal ambitions, your aim is to get back to, to League One where yeah. you were with Rochdale or even uh, even higher than that. Yeah. Is the squad that Jim's assembling here, do you think it's capable? Yeah, definitely. Well, you can see some lads who've just signed this season. We've got like Jennings and Runes and the other Jennings, you know what I mean? And Reedy, we've, we've signed some very, very good players, do you know what I mean? So uh, we've signed lads with big calibre from League One. Uh, Room's got 20 goals last season in the National League, so I think we're signing players that are established in this league, and if not better, so there's no reason why we can't uh, kick on this season and go up and obviously maybe next season try again, do you know what I mean? So it's not just settling for something, we want to keep going and going and going every week. That's what we're looking to do. Well, left back, left wing back, wherever it is, we're looking yeah. forward to seeing you. Yeah, well thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, mate. Thank you.